Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Altered Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be editing a raw photo which was taken with the Google Pixel 4 XL. So if you guys are interested, here's all the information from the, the time it was taken, from the device make, aperture value, exposure, focal length, ISO speed. If you guys are interested, it's right over here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use Affinity Photo. Now you guys could definitely use Snapseed, but I just find that this is a little bit more powerful. And on top of that, you know, I'm using my desktop monitor, so it's a lot more easier to, you know, judge the quality and do some editing. So, okay, people, let's go ahead and start with the curves. Um, yeah, so right now, people, I have this huge, you know, bright light source and everything else is dark. Okay, that's an issue. So um, first off, I'm going to want to try and see if I could dim down that light source, but not too much. Make it a little bit on the soft side. And let's try in the middle. Let's see what we could get. Don't want to overdo it because, yeah. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. I'm going to have to maybe use the select tool. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to use the select tool. And okay, I'm going to leave it like this. So let's develop this real quick. And okay, so it's done. Okay, so now, okay, it seems like I have a ton of work to do. So let's see what we can do. Okay, just to give you guys a quick comparison, this is the original photo in RAW format. This was a very tough photo to edit, number one. He had so many light sources, especially this one. You know, I could have probably could have increased the exposure to give you guys some more of the buildings in the back here and get the couple. But if I were to do that, this light would have just pretty much washed out everything over here. And these lights would have just been way too overblown, including these car headlights. So... Um, I did the best that I could and let's see the final result and here you go. So you have a nice dreamy scene. Um, I like the color temperature. Um, it's nighttime. You know, you could probably just, you know, take this printed out, hang it up somewhere. You have a nice view of the, the Freedom Tower and the lights isn't as overblown. I did my best to control the exposure of the lights and everything seems to be nice i mean i'm pretty impressed with the detail on this i mean this was taken with a smartphone guys like you know this is pretty impressive so uh smartphone photography has come a long way it's, it's i don't think anyone who back in the days i don't think anyone probably would have could imagine that a smartphone could take a photo like this so anyways people hope you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and please subscribe to my channel it really helps out so if you guys have any questions or comments please hit me up down below this is alter tech signing out for tonight take care peace